Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress, where we are ready to start building our in building our fortress. Uh, taken that we actually survive here. This is a somewhat special Let's Play, as I mentioned in the first video. Uh, we are playing the same map, same embark area with uh, Nakidal and DJ Rod W, and probably someone some other players as well. But uh, Nakidal and DJ Rod W were the ones who started this and uh, I, I decided to give it a shot too. As it's a, it's a fun fun to see what others do in let's uh, let in their let's plays with Dwarf Fortress as there are so many so many different possibilities to how to play the game. Starting starting with uh, how we uh, chose our initial dwarves. And speaking of that uh, if you didn't watch the first video, I didn't start with uh, any weapons. Uh, um, Nakidal, our expedition leader, in uh, all his uh, wisdom, decided that we are not gonna take any any picks, any axes with us, but instead we will make steel weapons. And uh, that's that's what we are doing here. We have the material materials to create steel weapons, but we need to need to um, uh, do that right away. I have uh, four named dwarves here. Uh, DJ, DJ Rod W, uh, Nakidal, Exoterius, uh, whose Let's Play I've been watching, uh, and uh, one one person who has uh, given me money through PayPal. Uh, well, all, all thanks to him, uh, his uh, chosen character name, uh, Mollecroft, or Mallecroft, as I would say it. Uh, if you want a dwarf in this, uh, uh, just put a comment in the in the video, any video on this Let's Play, and uh, when I eventually uh, see that and get recording again, I will I will name dwarf after after you. Uh, and uh, as we get more immigrants, I will uh, get more more dwarves named and um, now that we are here in the unit list there's something something wrong with the, the font I need to check that but the, let's not read that uh, worry us too much okay I was extremely lucky there are no uh, no zombies or anything here which is entirely possible as help the map is haunted and uh, if you haven't played Dwarf Fortress, I will very quickly explain some of the basic concepts. Uh, I'm using the Foebus graphics package, which changes the graphics. So here in the in the left, uh, I hope you can see the mouse mouse cursor. The Dwarf Fortress is uh, fully controlled with keyboard, but uh, I can hopefully use a mouse cursor to point something, some things out. So, for example, here uh, we have this uh, kind of a doctor-looking looking dwarf, and that is in fact uh, Nakidal, who has uh, skills in uh, in uh, medical medical uh, skills. So he's a doctor, and that's why the icon is that way. And uh, here we have the bunny rabbits we brought with me. We have some cats. We have our war dogs. And this uh, purple purple area is because this land is haunted. There are uh, staring eyeballs and uh, like weird worms here and tentacles and all. And this is not very not very pleasant area. This uh, brown thing here in the middle is our wagon. That's what we use to bring the supplies in. And uh, there's a couple of barrels showing there that are the food items. There's some rocks there. Everything we brought is in the wagon for now. There we have, uh, I think, my uh, carpenter. We have our mason and architect. Mm. We have our farmer. We have our weaponsmith. I'm not sure who that guy is. Ah, he's an uh, armor user and dodger. So let's see what... What things did Malacroft brought with him? Letter gap. 
on the clothes. Didn't get any armor with him. Leather cloak, leather cap, leather. Okay, he's relatively. Sometimes if one gets extremely lucky, there might be a leather armor on, which is very useful at the, at the beginning. But even even the leather, any kind of leather clothes is very good. And uh, yeah, well, other things on the screen. Uh, this uh, screen can change. Uh, different ways we can see just the map we can see the overview on the right or we can see this uh, keyboard keyboard commands I usually play with uh, either view like this where I can see the see the controls especially now that it's been a little while since I played the, my last game uh, so uh, in case I don't remember those those um, key commands. Uh, on the top right you can see the number number of idlers that means dwarves that don't have any tasks to do and then further on the right you can see the level we are on. So currently we are on level 150 and if I move a level down or up that uh, that changes. And on the, on the top right we can see the yellow we can see the yellow idlers and we can see a green one because we are one level up from the kind of a C level I guess and if I go down it goes into negative so we are below the C level or the level we started in let's get an overview on the area I will zoom out here my dwarves are there Okay, I think that is fine. We can see the volcano there, and if I go levels up, the, the level number is very small now, so basically can't can't see it. But if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Oh my, that's that's tall one. I think that's 30 levels up. 186 maybe, until we get to the top of the top of the volcano. <laughs> that's and what's what's odd about that that uh, volcano is that it doesn't change its sa shape at all. It uh, stays stays the same. It's usually usually uh, marries its shape. I I'm going down now. Yeah, it stays the stays the same the whole way. That's crazy. Okay. Um yeah, and this uh this haunted area on the on the lower left side is a bit crazy looking as well. With those uh with those spikes or cliffs there. And uh northern part of the map is uh, there are quite a lot of quite a lot of uh, wood there and it's it's not haunted uh, I want my dwarves to get out of this haunted area at least for now as uh, I don't remember exactly the details about the haunted areas but uh, I think what it does the skeletons and uh, zombies can uh, can rise from the ground in haunted area so at least spawn there uh, but where do I want to build my let's zoom back in where do I want to start my my building I said I didn't bring any steel weapons with me so that is something I need to need to worry about next. Uh, before that I will fire up Dwarf Therapist here and connect my Dwarves in that. And, uh, let's get rid of the custom professions and look at Dwarf details instead. And let's dock that here. 
and we can see the dwarf skills very nicely there and also uh, the personality traits which uh, affect some of the some of the things especially if uh, if the dwarf is uh, I can't can't lower it more okay hmm what I need to do, I need to assign a wood burner. I need to assign a furnace operator as I'm making those steel weapons. My weaponsmith can double as blacksmith and metal crafter if I do any of those things. Hmm. I think. Nakidal can be the furnace operator. Wood burner. That would probably be. Yeah. He will be Mulcroft as he'll, he will be its main miner early on as well. I will make Nakidal a miner as well, but he needs to first smelt everything. And I think I need a backup. Or early, early butcher. I think our handyman DJ Rod can take care of that as well as Tanning, in case we butcher anything. And some animal training as well. I will replace all these professions or labors when I get skilled immigrants to do these things. But butcher is something we might need to do in case in case some uh, some animals or monsters come at us early on. Okay, furnace operating wood burning. Yeah, so let's commit those changes and those were now injected in in here. I will quickly show how would I change the change the professions here. So for example, uh, Nakidal here, I would uh, change change the labors. I would have uh, I would have gone here in. Uh, I guess uh, metal smithing and uh, turn this furnace operating on, but now I did it from from the dwarf therapist. Um, I will pause the video for well the recording for a short moment, and I will look where I will. Well, actually, no, I won't. I won't pause. I will show everything. I'm thinking I do want to get close to the close to the magma. So uh, should I start up here north and then make my way down? Now I think I will move here. So first I want to move all my things away from that haunted area. I don't want my dwarves to be there longer than needed. Let's uh, put uh, some food here. Let's move the little wood that we brought with us. Put it there. Let's get the stones, basically the metal stones and such. Oops, that one. Let's start it lower here. Stones, then bars and blocks. Food, wood, stones, yeah, and then let's make a one. Oh, 
on stockpile here for the finished goods. And also change that to take furniture. Pretty much everything else that doesn't go into the other piles, and we don't yet need don't yet need a refuse stockpile, but I will build smelters, or furnaces, and a wood furnace to start. There, and I will use the kyolonite I brought with me. Because I didn't bring any picks, I couldn't get any uh, any stone. Or well, actually, I couldn't get anything if I don't don't first create uh, steel weapons. I will um, set this area to F1. I will change the name to entrance. Although I don't know if this will be the entrance. And zoom here. And let's name this area. Magen. And I will unpause the game and the dwarves will start moving. Moving the things from the wagon to the stockpiles. And uh, the mason and architects is uh, building the wood furnace. And now that that's done, I will immediately make free charcoal so I can start smelting the bituminous coal. And for that, I will build the Smelter. Again, using the kelonites we brought with me. Some kabuparas spawned. That's fine. Where are they? They're around the western part of the map, yes. Kabuparas are hostile, but they are not too dangerous. Uh, and uh, it's not as not as bad as they uh, they would uh, if they were zombie capybaras or skeleton capybaras. Okay, the smelter was already done. Now it's waiting. The charcoal is waiting. Okay. This is very critical part here. This is much slower start than usual. Now actually the wood burning has started. This is much slower slower beginning than taking picks and axe with you. So uh, I will need to be extra careful here at all times in case we get some get some hostiles. We have first charcoal done. Because the dwarf is not skilled in the wood burning, it'll take him a little while for burnt wood, but uh, since uh, there is no quality in charcoal, that doesn't matter. Okay, we have two charcoals, so I can do the first batch. Well, I can't because the smelter is not done yet. Oh Mason, stop hauling and do that do that smelter, please. Okay, let's let's help that out a bit. DJ Rod is off to hauling duty for a moment.
smelter is done. Soon I will uh, get a couple of more charcoals, even that I don't really need it. And I will also build the metalsmith's forge while the mason doesn't have the hauling jobs. Using the iron anvil and one last galonite. I could do this with one fire safe stone, but um, this uh, is faster this way. I don't need to uh, deconstruct the furnace and to build the smelter and so on. Okay, we will smelt bituminous coal into coke. Mm. We'll actually put one more, and then we will smelt two magnetites. Still only copper bars. They are staying on the on the western side of the map, which is great. Not that I think of it, I could place could place the meeting area here instead of. Uh, Instead of being at the wagon where, where this uh, haunted, there's still some stuff there in the wagon. I think I need another food stockpile because we brought so so much food with us. I will as soon as possible move these stockpiles indoors. But at first, first requires me to create the steel weapons. With this, uh, this kind of a start, there will be there will be some idlers at the beginning. Okay, the wagon is uh, now empty, so I will remove it, so it won't be a meeting area anymore. Again, double checking the unit list. Right now, we need to wait for a uh, wait for Nakidal to finish finish some smelting before we can get uh, get steel. Okay, he has done smelting the bituminous coals, or part of them, smelting the first magnetite ore into iron. And now that we have that, we can turn one, one magnetite with fluxstone into big iron bar. Waiting for that, we can queue in one between skull in it. In between, and since I don't no longer yet no longer need that much wood, I can make carpenter's workshop. Are on the way. It doesn't matter that much, so let's put it there. Oh, that's right. I don't have. Well, well, I will. I will get the wood back when I when I deconstruct it. 
Okay, was the big iron done? Not yet. So he goes and someone goes and moves the big iron bar in the stockpile. And at this point we can create steel. I will queue the next batch of steel here so I don't need to don't need to add the job. I'm putting the bituminous coal in between magnetite uh, and between big iron and steel so there's time for someone to take it to a stockpile. I could go without stockpiles and they would just pick it from the floor of the workshop. But uh, as soon as those steel bars are done, then I can make my first weapons. Battle axe for woodcutting and defense, and uh, pick for mining. Okay, now Nakidal is scattering ingredients for steel and started smelting them. Um, nothing was left behind here where the wagon was. That's good. Okay, the steel was done and placed into a stockpile. So Smith can go and make weapons. Steel. Battle axe first. Just in case we run out of fuel, even that well we aren't running out of fuel, but just in case, and a steel pick. While that is happening, the carpenter can create some beds we can put indoors when we get there. Let's make it just free now. We'll cut more, cut more wood soon. So I can assign some wood chopping here. And um, wait a minute, I didn't assign the wood cutting job because I didn't take the skill. I think I planned that for... Wallacraft. What? Has this been changed? Well, I actually probably haven't done this. I can't assign mining and woodcutting to the same person. That's interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. I didn't know that. Well, actually, that makes sense. Sense, though, so it's, it's fine. Changes things a bit. Well, I will make him the woodcutter for now. I didn't really know that I can't assign both jobs. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, but who will be the early miner then? Maybe our mason will do it. Yeah, I will do it early on. No one has any skills in mining, so this is uh, this is tricky in that way. Nakidal will mine as soon as he gets the smelting jobs 
moved on. And probably the smith as well. Okay. Oh, and since the pick is being done, I can uh, designate some areas to be dug out. Mm. I often take quite a bit of time with this, so um, I will pause the recording and designate areas and uh, start recording again. So yeah, see you, see you in a second. This might take me a while.